Hello everyone. So today I wanted to do this um, uh, sunflower watercolor paint along. Um, I have this sunflower up on my blog and on Pinterest and Instagram for a while and I didn't realize that it's not um, in my blog um, as a video tutorial and paint along. So I thought wow I need to fix that and so today I have been waiting for a while because the weather is so dark here in Utah but today uh, it seems like there's enough light so I'm just gonna go with it because you know we can uh, wait till spring right before I make a tutorial and that will be very sad for me and hopefully <laughs> not very happy for you because I'm hoping that you actually will ping along so let's talk about um, so I have a light drawing um, you can look at my the finished painting and just uh, you know maybe trace it or you can just express it uh, your drawing in any way you want it this is just the basic of you know some of the color I use and the way of making uh, you know just several tips of how to paint more the color that I find quite pleasing and I know you guys like this painting so let's go okay all right so some of the color I use is a light yellow and um, uh, medium yellow uh, burnt orange and so the darker I will usually use burnt umber since the last painting with the owl I still haven't <laughs> looked into the burnt umber on my palette problem <laughs> but I think it'll be fine we'll just have fun today okay um, what I'm trying to do is like as you can see there's a lot of different pa petals there and some of them are the petals of the sunflower and some of them are actually leaves so I'm going to paint a few leaves so that it could um, you know make it easier for me and for you if you're painting along I think to just tell ourselves okay those are leaves that don't paint it yellow into a sunflower petal <laughs> because it's just so close to each other right okay so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to I think I loaded um, too much uh, green on my brush but that's okay I'll just do two of the leaves then Sometimes I don't like to um, do many different shapes, um, uh, like a big, a too big of an area. That's just something that I've um, I learned to deal with my own painting so that I would have um, a little bit more control because sometimes, you know, I am, I like to get focused with one thing and then I would not see that another part of the painting is actually drying. That uh, sometimes happened to me when I paint background. And it's not something that I can't fix. It really is not something I can't fix. But, you know, it is uh, easier if I just, um, you know, do it this way. And I, I have put a little bit more yellow than um, my original uh, painting, but that's okay. You know, sometimes we do that, you know. We just be happy with what we're doing and and keep going, right? Okay, so what I'm doing here is just a, you know, a light wash of um, green. And what I'm planning to do is just um, do the light wash and then let the leaves um, kind of uh, dry a little bit before I go on to the you know to do the next one you know I have to confess to you it happens to all the artists sometimes we joke about it and, and uh, because we uh, that happened to the watercolorists you know because I know that with oil sometimes they use charcoal and it's quite a deep uh, line and impression so it's harder for them but <laughs> sometimes for us we're like okay what did I do where is my pencil mark and do I can I actually see what I'm trying to do <laughs> lost the pencil mark right and uh, 
I forgot what I'm, you know, what we're planning to do, and that happened to us a lot. <laughs> and there's nothing to be, to worry about, you know. And so now that kind of give me a, you know, it's already. Uh, let me know that. Oh, okay, those are leaves, and I stay away from those when I'm painting the yellow. Um, so now at this point, I needed to let this area dry a little bit because I think these two I have um, a little too much water on it, and so maybe I will come over and paint this leaf right here because it's just standing by itself, doing nothing. So we will have it to become a pretty leaf, okay? A pretty leaf. Um, the weather here, uh, you know, uh, if you... Of course, you know, I talk about weather and I don't know, and I plan to leave this uh, video up for years and I guess it's okay. You know, we can say whatever and It'll still be fun, you know, I'm just talking and hopefully you guys find it very enjoyable and soothing just watching me painting. And so I like to talk about things and while I'm painting and uh, today the weather here is very uh, fallish. You know, the leaves are, the leaves are falling. Um, but not all of them. Some of them are falling and they are uh, very, very uh, pretty on the, against the dark cement of the street. I'm looking, I have a window out here, right? Because I really enjoy using natural light. And so I can look out and it's, it's just very pretty. But the light was not strong enough. So I used one of my, my sweet husband got me a really white light, a white bulb, but not... Um, you know, not fluorescent bulb because we don't like fluorescent bulb. It doesn't agree with us. I think it's the flickering of the bulb. It just makes us uh, very, very tired. And uh, I want to fall asleep and I want to stay awake. You wouldn't like it if I fall asleep while I'm painting and talking to you. <laughs> I guess it doesn't affect me as much as it actually affects my daughter. And she really, um, the university that she go to, Brigham Young University down here, you know, it's not too old, not too old compared to the, you know, the university in the, you know, the Ivy League and the, you know, older university, but they still use for excellent light and we, I actually learned about it from a chemistry professor who's one of my neighbor and told me that how one of her, his students um, was having a real hard time and they couldn't find out. So all the smart men put their head together and realized that, oh my goodness, it's the fluorescent light. That's bothering the boy. And so they have to bring in lamps. They're very kind. So that uh, to you know, illuminate the room. And so that he could have an easier time. And not get headache. He actually get a headache. I don't think my daughter get headache. Okay. So this there's a triangle there. Because that's where the flowers come in. Okay. And so. um, We should just let these die. Because while I'm painting leaves. Why don't I... Hmm. Okay, I'm trying to lighten. Um, should I go there? Hmm, maybe I should just do the stems over here and this leaf over there. And uh, just go this way. Because I'm, you know, doing the green color. I kind of wanted to do a little bit more of that. I think in the original painting, I leave, um, I leave the vein. white on these leaves so i will try to do that so it's a little bit consistent it's not it won't be exactly like that because uh it's fun that no exactly two painting are like right um i do commission for people sometimes they you know they will see some of my painting in my etsy shop and they say oh can you do something different like this and i or the same painting and uh paint me an original I think you guys like original. Maybe I should go back and do original painting and, you know, just sell originals. And uh, maybe you guys uh, will like that. I don't know. I'm still thinking about that. 
I really don't mind painting. I just love painting. So I can I can paint a lot, not all day, but a lot. And so I uh, sometimes, you know, I paint till I get tired or sometimes I don't get tired. But I always tell my customer not two originals are the same. Okay, so I leave that area. So that's just a suggestion. There's a vein there. I like that this style of watercolor because it just um, it's just very soft and pleasing to me. I uh, I can like I told you, but I don't do a lot of um, very very uh, um. One of my teachers, she actually um, called herself realism and it's um, photo realism. So she make it as close as she can to looking like a photo. I don't usually do that. I like to take advantage of the uh, characteristic of watercolor, but I do like her painting. She taught me a lot. It's a very, very, um, fine artists. All of the people that I learned with are fine artists, I think. And I like all of them. You know, I do this video for free because I like that. And maybe I will talk about that, you know, when when we have the chance. But I, uh, I'm always very grateful for my teachers and for all the things that they taught me. Okay, so I just dropped some darker color there and I feel like maybe I need to drop some yellow and just let the painting just mix color itself. And so, and so because there's a lot of yellow, right, on sunflower, and so I like the stem to be somewhat yellow too some yellow on it okay and so you know just be careful that the stem you know follow the line and come down this way of course you know I do have a have a pencil line you know but I'm still very careful with connecting things <laughs> and sometimes maybe I don't do a very good job and I'm frustrated but that's okay just try our best and try to connect things when it needed to be consistent and connecting, right? <laughs> I just keep painting. I forgot that the leaf is not totally dry, but that's okay. It doesn't seem like it's a problem for me right now. Um. <sighs> so the leaf is a, a very, uh, you know, Utah is going to, you know, be kind of dark. But sometimes the sun do come out because it is the desert and it's really fun. And we, uh, and, uh, you know, and all the snow will melt. But now we're not talking about snow yet. <laughs> Let's not talk about snow yet. <laughs> okay. Because, uh, you know, I'm not a big fan of snow. I like winter clothing, though. It's kind of fun to be able to wear some of the winter clothing, I think. But... Wow. You know, we all need to have a big snowblower around here in the winter time because I actually live on a hill and uh, I just painted that part darker because it's on that underside. So the leaves look better. Okay. Now I'm going to come back and in the, uh, um define those leaves a little more, but not right now. Um, there's a, I know that in that original um, painting, there's a leaf over here, so we will do that. And there's also a leaf over there, and we will work on that later. If I remember, I will tell you why. Be well, I'll just tell you why, because I wanted to pull the color out. See, these are close, close leaves, right? But over there, I want to pull the color out, so they blend into the background. So that's what I wanted to do. Okay, let's go on to the petals of the flower, should we? Okay. Okay, uh, in the beginning, I did tell you that I do use a very light lime color, uh, not lime, uh, light yellow color. 
Okay, so let's do this leaf. You know, like you said, I said, I tell you, I have a pencil line here. I'm looking. Okay. So we will just uh, kind of, you know, do a very, very light wash. Okay. And then I, I will go back and dip onto the medium yellow and try to intensify part of the the leaves that's over here okay so there's already two color in that leaf right um, I can just go on ahead and do the whole I think maybe I'll just do that and do the whole thing since I have the two color right here next to my arm okay and um, the reason why I'm coming in here because um, you know the pencil line is so slight and I would like to Make sure that I don't miss anything or made a mistake. While I'm showing you how to do this. Okay, so and then so every time I go from the light yellow to the medium yellow, I do not wash the brush. But I do, and then I go back to the light yellow, right? So that the reason why I'm doing each leaf at a time, you know, you can actually do the whole thing. I know that some watercolor is to that. Um, because I don't want them I want to be able to drop the medium yellow in while I am while the light yellow is still a little bit wet okay and so I do things like that I just uh, do one at a time but you know I don't really have to just uh, people's preference and sometimes I don't This morning, I'm thinking about my friend. I was talking to you about the weather, and uh, so there's a leaf over here. So this um, big um, petal, I guess I have one. I actually had two in the original. Um, should I separate into two? Okay, let's separate. But this one, I don't have to. I don't want to leave a highlight much because it's under the shadow of the leaves, right? And so when I come in, I will just do it darker later okay and then there's a leaf over uh, there's a petal over here too okay i might leave this part a little bit very um more light i guess not a little bit more light because there might be some sunlight shining on there okay and so there are, i just uh, painted two petal but it looks like i just did one right <laughs> and then we use the darker color to separate them i think i have um show you guys that in my other painting you know isn't painting fun I was talking to you I'm worried about my friend because um, she hasn't been to church for a long time uh, months it started with the pandemic but uh, she actually her bone is so soft that she um, was playing pickleball and she didn't of course she didn't know that and so she fell down and the bone actually broke but she had no idea so she was suffering pain for a long time and try this and try that you know like I do that too you know when I am in pain pull a muscle or something I like to exercise and I like to play badminton but I haven't done that for a long time because I don't have a partner my husband told me once that he would um, play with me but uh, he's so busy yeah he's a professor at BYU and uh, he also um, work at the you know at the church not work at the church actually you know we don't get paid working for the church he's in a bishopric and so he's just very very busy no time really we go hiking though for exercise together and uh, so my friend just uh, fall down and didn't know and so anyway finally she find out that her bone has gone soft and it's a vitamin D deficiency I'm very sad you know pray for her a lot and uh, they are trying to give her some pills to strengthen the bone as much as they could but it's been going on for a long time right to the point where she actually um, has to take has uh, broken 
broken her back in one of the area in her spine area. So I've been thinking about her, praying for her, and and she has been sad. She had told me a few years back that she has sort of struggled with depression, and I, you know, I always wonder why. You know, I know I know a lot of people struggle with depression, but now for her, I know it's because of the vitamin D problem. So I hope you guys take vitamin D and go out in the sun. Um, I try sometimes wear short sleeve and so because I, you know, obedient and wear my sunscreen and uh, but I roll up my sleeve if I have long sleeve, I wear long sleeve in the summer too just to block the sun but then I roll up my sleeve but sometimes I just sit um, well, I wrote my sleep at least for, you know, half an hour, 20 minutes, you know, I really don't care. I know that being able to get the sun is a very important thing. And, uh, and sometimes I just go to the, um, the front of my house, uh, to the side, then where there's a lot of sun. And when I, sometimes I get up really early in the morning, I just go soak in some sun for 15 minutes. I know how important vitamin D is to all of us, to our well-being, to our happy mood. Wow. I remember when my doctor, I had just a regular family doctor say, Oh, Kathy, you need to stop taking vitamin D. And I thought, <sighs> are you sure? <laughs> I'm not very good about um, listening to doctors. <sighs> but eventually it took me a while because I you know, like to do some research myself and say, okay, I think he's right. Okay, let me, because uh, while I'm painting, I've noticed the composition. This should be a longer leaf, okay? So I'm going to just come out and leave some highlight. It's so long that it probably hit the sun, right? And then this is a shorter one next to it. Okay. Okay, I think that is good doesn't have to be so um you know okay i will make a suggestion of a leaf over here how's that you know because it doesn't have to be so um what do you call that densely it's good to leave some air sometimes okay to be so dense okay all right let's let that cluster of leaf dry and then we'll go on to the other side okay um so there's one right here, and I want to go ahead and do that first, be, uh, uh, pedal, pedal, because the reason for that is that I don't want to forget. Um, you know, let's push that uh, to the back. Let's push this to the front. That's just, you know, I'm designing. <laughs> I'm designing while I'm painting. Uh, okay. Now I just, because this one is so open, so I think, okay, it probably can get more sun, so I need to, I want it to leave a little bit more highlight on the, on the petals, okay? And, uh, I know, uh, um, I am not one who get depressed very much, but sometimes I do. And and when I do, I know that probably because I uh, not I'm not eating enough, and my thyroid is uh, telling me it doesn't like me. And so that's usually I know when I get depressed. I got in depression after I had my second baby, and it didn't. It lasted for two two months. The first first one it lasted for two um, weeks. Okay, so I need to remember to put some yellow over there, and so I may, I may as well just do that, okay? So there's a petal that's just behind this leaf over here, and I'm just gonna do that right now in case I forget later, okay? Yeah, I'm not one who is very prone to depression, but I know I know how it feels, the dark feeling and the, and the thing, you know. And so that's one of the reasons I don't like uh, winter too much, you know. Just really love the sun. 
but I have my lazy day. I don't go out. I don't go out every day. It's not necessary, but I do take my vitamin D. Like I say, after I do some research and realize how important it is. When my daughter went on her mission, she was a missionary for the church. I love that because I love God and I am very happy that she actually is serving our Father in heaven and to preach the gospel to the people in Malaysia. But you know, I have to. I really miss her. And at that point, we don't really talk on the phone. We write email. Today, you can actually talk on the phone with your children, which is really kind of nice things to do. Nice things for them to be able to talk to their their parents, you know, weekly. But we didn't or Zoom, I think Zoom with the parent. But so I really miss her, and I, and that's a different kind of unhappy. I think it was a very depression, you know, because sometimes I just wow miss her so much I cry, and uh, but with that kind of um, if you may call it depression or unhappy. Very very unhappy. I realized that if I go out and serve other people, I feel a lot better. Get myself busy, and then at night time, when I really miss her, right? Night time is not a good time for me. If I have uh, anxiety or emotional issue, it usually happen in the night, and so I would uh, busy myself and go and find really good books in the library, and I'll read. But in the daytime, the way I do it. It's like I always feel better when I serve other people. So, <laughs> some of our neighbors, I'm sure they were wondering why they start getting curry chicken. I love to cook curry, right? From me. <laughs> and so I usually take it to the families that、uh, have a lot of little children, and I'm sure that, and you know, you know, raising kids nowadays, right? You or at my time. My children were in band, so it's very, very busy, and so nowadays they're very busy too. And so I would like to kind of tell them ahead of time and help them out, and that make me stop thinking about, you know, because my daughter was doing a very good thing as a missionary, and so stop thinking about how much I miss her, and just realize that she is learning to deal with life, learning to serve God. And、uh, I needed to、um, be happy for her, and so it really does help me then. But that's the different kind、um, of unhappiness, you know, when you are dealing with、uh, your body lacking certain minerals and vitamins, you know. I try to exercise every day, and I do. And now I'm getting older. I'm fifty. Fifty-six、uh, years old in next month. Next month, and so I、uh, try not to do intense. When I was young, I do intense, but I never go running because I knew、uh, I couldn't handle the jarring of the bones and my knees, and so I just go walking. But I walk uphill in the area. You know, I told you earlier that I live in a hill, and so. Where we live, live we have a lot of hills, and so if you wanted to do hills,、um, <laughs> plenty of opportunity, right? And so that's、uh, you know walk up hill is nice for me because it、um, make me work a little bit harder, and so I'm still doing that. And I like to go hiking, and when we go hiking, wow, we sometimes we do like two、um, thousand. Two thousand、uh, feet gain, you know, in a couple hours. Oh yeah, I talk about. I do like to. I go to Yellowstone too. Yeah, I told you that when I was、uh, doing the owl. I hope you guys are watching, and you can tell me if you like hiking too. What kind of exercise you do to help yourself、um, be stronger and healthier? I think it's very good for us. Did I tell you how much I love to hear from you? I just love it. I think I wanted to emphasize that. <laughs> just love to hear from you guys. So I'm still waiting for you guys. You know, it doesn't really matter. You don't have to paint along. You can just, if you're just watching it and you hear 
this part that I'm asking you, you just um, give me some indication that you actually hear me. Okay, now it's time. Um, I can use a small brush. I think that in the other um, reel that you saw, I did use a smaller brush. So I will just do that. I can use a big brush, but I'm going to now use the Quinacridone Burn Orange which is a color that I like to use with my sunflower, but not a lot, not a whole lot, because it's a, it's a way to separate the leaves. I'm at the petals, you know, so you're just using a darker color so that you can see the difference, right? So they're not all running together with soft color. And this is the time where you also make the shape of the leaf known, right? And I, uh, As you guys probably know by now, I like to make my uh, leaf shape go this way and that way. Okay, now I usually deal with two colors at the same time, so I'm doing Quinacridone Burn Orange. And now I'm gonna go find my Burn Umber. I think there's still Burn Umber here. I was joking, they look like Burn Sienna. Okay, and so the deepest part, where it's closest to the leaf, where it's darker in the sh shade, I just make it look a little bit darker so that you can tell. Oh, I just saw that with my last painting, there's a petal going, coming up here and I will do that. At least if I remember, I will. You know, it's very, very good to do paintings um, because as we read books, I guess you, um, I don't know what audience I have uh, in this channel yet because I haven't heard from you, um, but uh, I've, I uh, have um, read articles about how when we read, we use this one side of our brain a lot. And painting or art is a different side. And so it's good that we do that. And we do that, you know, once a while because it helps us so that we don't um, use uh, one side of our brain too much. We need to balance it. That's just healthy for us. And so I thought, yeah, that's really good. Seriously though, but I don't think that we're using it like the same way as we talking because I have a hard time finding my words when I'm painting. <laughs> but that's okay too. Yeah, you guys uh, put up with me, and I'm very glad. Put up with my um, Chinese accent. Actually come out a lot more, but you know, imagine mixing that with English when I'm painting. I think I speak a lot better. Pronounce things, I guess, a uh, lot better when I'm not focusing on painting, but that's okay. I'm doing my best, right? And as you know, I'm doing this with, um, they're all free and I don't really have um, any intention of ever charging you guys, you know, for my tutorial. It's just one of the things that make me happy. You know, I look in the scripture, it talks about talents. I was looking at, I was reading the scripture. I read my scripture every day and I set aside time and when I go walking, I like to listen to the audio tape and uh, Heavenly Father give us talents, right? And I, I've, read, I've felt this since I was very young, the just overwhelming love for art. And I can stay at the museum for a long time. I don't get bored. It's kind of funny, I can, you know, after I like look at something, I can just walk off and then I come back and I look at it again and I'm fine. I just stare at paintings for a long time. And uh, sometimes I'm looking at techniques, sometimes I'm observing the beauty, and sometimes I am just uh, uh, um, 
sometimes I'm just I really soak in and the feeling and just enjoy myself so I can stay and uh, look at a painting for a long time but I if I go with my husband oh he also loves art and so um, I need to you know beware sometimes I do need to leave maybe when I'm going with my daughters I need to leave right it's not not everybody likes to I can just live there <laughs> Um, anyway, so I, I really love art since I was young, and I do believe that there might be a talent in there somewhere. But I do work hard, and I, uh, I'm just doing this to serve, to serve people, to use the talent to bring joy. Because um, I, I think sometimes it costs a lot, you know. And I have some tricks and tips, and I just want you guys to really have fun too, and so. Heavenly Father, bless me with um, that I'm doing well, you know, not rich, not really rich, and, you know, not, not anything like that, but uh, I do have enough, and I say if I don't need to be paid, I still wanted to share my talent with other people, like the scriptures say we need to share our talent. Okay, since I used that a little bit darker burn umber, I don't need to do that with this leaf okay so I just leave it you know kind of with more burnt orange yeah that's what I'm trying to say with more burnt orange so that but you do see that there's a difference you know between you know that there's uh, you can see the the petals you know separating yeah that's why I try to say okay and not a lot of dark color because you, we need to be careful, right? Because as you, we paint and we keep loading on dark color, and pretty soon it become a very dark, <laughs> a very dark sunflower for some reason. Okay, all right. Now, I know that these are dry because my touch was very light, and so I need to, to. I wanted to at this point do the middle. Okay. Now see, it's separate by this petal, so we can just focus on this part, and then that part. Okay. So the first time I do that um, in the reel. I use um, gray color here and sunflower the center always have purple and so is black eye Susan okay so I drop some that of that color and then I do the burn orange so I'm just gonna do the same thing this time and changing back to my little bit bigger brush okay and then uh, since sunflower the middle part of sunflower is so dark so I wet my brush and go pick up some um, some of the pink's gray color. Okay. I don't feel like that was intense enough, so I pick a little bit more color. Okay. Okay, now that I have the pink's gray, I will just do this part over here too, since it's separate by that pretty little leaves there. Okay, and I'm charging into my purple, okay? purple color and just put it right next to it because I know purple and gray a very good background color and they're very good dark color together so I'm not even afraid okay let me and so what we need to be afraid of when we do things like that is when we uh, put color that are kind of opposite which is what I'm going to do now, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little more pigment with the purple, okay? And then I'm going to put in burnt umber. Now, let's put a little more paint spray on this side, okay? So pull it out because, uh, yes, burnt umber is needed because, you know, a lot of people think that, like, it's very brown. The inside of... Um, the middle part of the of the um, of a sunflower, and so you must have that those color all there. And uh, so I'm going to put in the burnt umber, and you see that I have put a little bit of water there, right? And then I put on the. The burnt umber color okay and i don't think that that's dark enough so i'm going in with more and put that there and you can see that the middle is already forming 
and I need it to clean up this edge, you know, because it doesn't look too smooth. Okay, now it's a lot better. Okay, when I'm done, uh, when it's dry, sorry, when it's dry, not when I'm done, I will come back and actually darken that. Okay, because I, like I always say, I don't work on the same spot when it's wet for a long time, because uh, that's when you, when it become kind of muddy and the paper get too soft. And all the while here, I'm paying attention to make sure that the leaves and just not get into the petal. And I don't mind doing detail works like that. I really don't. Okay, come back here and intensify that gray color, okay? Because this is quite intense over here. Okay, and I'm going to now charge the quite intense purple color into the gray. I hope you can see that. You know, I'm. Sh you know, I I saw that when I was uh, looking at my reel. I saw that I did that, and that you could actually see that I used purple. One of the card that I used to sell in Etsy, I still sell that. Now it's in in Jaclay in painting. I'll talk about Jaclay in the in the blog post. Um, I use. Uh, <laughs> I mainly use uh, purple. And it turned out to be really good because um, there's the contrast in the color between the the complementary color of uh, of yellow is purple, and so I use that. I use a lot of that color, and it turned out really good. I sold a lot of that card. Okay, now. I have to follow that line and make sure that I do that going back to the other side, right? Or else the shape will not be consistent. Okay, I was mainly worried about the shape. And so now the shape is happy. I'm leaving a little bit of highlight there. I'm worry about the intensity then, right? And so I'm trying to pick up more pigment and drop it in here. Make sure that it's quite intense. Okay. I don't think it's intense enough, so I will come back and do that, okay? And so make it more dark brown. I might even mix it in. But see, um, as I was telling you, putting these two colors right next to each other is tricky because um, they don't like to mix and they will turn into mud. Uh, putting purple and gray is fine. You can do whatever you want over there. But uh, now um, with brown, brown and purple doesn't like each other. <laughs> they will turn into either a really muddy color or black maybe, you know. Um, and that's okay too, if that's the effect that you want it to. So this side, it's quite happy. Oh, I forgot over here. Okay. Now, as I'm looking at it, see, I was, I told you that I wanted to separate the petal. It need to be separate a little bit more over here so you can see it. And I just saw that. So I'm going to, since it's dry. Okay. <laughs> so it's my brush. It's very dry. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go in and use some quinacridone, quinacridone burnt orange. And do that line okay and then I I need to tell you something too right here you can see that I just do this triangle I didn't do this part as artists it's very good to do lost line and fine line because like you lost something and you find it um, because um, people's eye will because we see something right and our eye will just tell us oh the line is there but we don't have to paint it. We don't have to paint every single line. And that's part of the beauty of art, right? You don't have to paint every single thing. Okay? Leave some area for people. You guys put in, you know that there's a leaf here and a leaf there, right? I'm sure you do. And that's very nice. Okay, just darkening the color. After, put more yellow in that leaves okay um okay oh i haven't do this other side so oh i'll just let that uh, dry and work on the 
the inside of this part, okay? Okay, back in with my gray color, okay? And I'm going to leave the highlight there, at least I'm going to try and hope that I remember. There are a lot of things to remember being an artist, isn't it? As you're painting. And I want to tell you that you can actually, oh, just, you know, draw a, 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 some kind of a shape over there so that you can remember the highlight. But, you know, it sometimes it's very hard to work on it that way because um, you are um, drawing too much line, too many lines on the painting, and that confuses people too. I don't know if it confused you, but it does confuse me somewhat, you know, so I don't like to do that. Okay, I want this to be a little bit more intense over here, okay? So I just charge into the pigment and bring some over here. So that area is really, actually really wet. And while it's wet, I'm doing the same thing as the other side. I will go charge in my purple. Not a lot. Not a lot of purple, but... You need it to have some purple, okay? So that you can see the purple, right? Okay, and then I soften the line of the purple. Soften it, soften it, and soften the pigment too, or um, dilute the pigment too, so that it ah, it, um, it doesn't mix in so quickly with the burnt umber that I am going to pick up right now. Okay, and the burnt umber need to be a little dark and I'm trying to make this area smooth while, while I'm painting it, okay? Okay, and all the while, remember, we were going to leave a highlight and we are going to, and there it is, that highlight right there, okay? And a little bit next to it, it will be fine too. Okay, now, this is the same thing. I can maybe charge a little bit more of the burnt umber color in because it's still wet. But I know that after it dry, it turns lighter and I need to come and intensify it. And maybe I'll intensify the gray too, I don't know. You know, and when you take a step back and you look and you can see the purple there, but it's good. And if you go out and look at nature, and you will see that every time I go hiking, and if there's some wild sunflower, <laughs> I will ask my husband the same question. Now, James, do you see? Do you see the purple in there? You see the purple in there, right? But I see that a lot of artists doesn't um, do that, and I guess that's their call. I don't judge, or you know, it's there. Uh, Forty-three minutes. Okay, it's their decision, and this is. Um, I just wanted to tell you guys that uh, it is good to do so. Okay, so now that uh, has dried the brown underneath, underneath, I mean, over here, and so I use, um, I'm coming in with the burnt orange, right? And then do the same thing. Do the same thing over here. And then I wanted to pull it out with some medium okay and then uh, I can either either do a line with the yellow over here and maybe go around the highlight or I can actually use the background to help me which I talk about that a lot in the in the owl painting and if you guys haven't watched that I will encourage you to go watch it or go paint along just have fun just have fun Okay, what I'm doing here, I'm trying to make this petal stand out, right? And separate that one over there from that one. I'm using the burnt orange this way. And then I pull it out with that uh, medium yellow, my burnt orange, on the darker side. And I leave that lighter. Okay, and now you can see the petals are separate, right? And then this one is already separate, so I won't use that many, but just a little touch 
of burnt orange. So that the leaf is not that flat. Okay. You kind of, you can see that there. And when you pull it out, you can actually make some line like what I did there. And you don't have to do it with every single leaf. At least I don't think that that's necessary. Okay, and then I put some orange color there. Okay, now this is the one that I just want to barely suggest uh, it's being there so... I am still going to do that, you know, but just very, very lightly. Okay, you can see very, very light with the, with the burnt orange, and that is sufficient. The painting is coming together, don't you think? Okay. Dry my, dry off the pigment, and then just do that. was talking about when I <laughs> so I would go around and uh, make food for people for families that had um, a lot of children and I assume that mom would like to take a break from cooking for dinner so a lot of kids around here I take food to a lot of families and they have um, the children had learned to enjoy curry <laughs> I guess that's uh, some of my accomplishment. <laughs> I teach children how to enjoy curry chicken or uh, curry, you know, pork or whatever. You know, I thought that was funny. I'm just trying to intensify. But then when my daughter come back, then I got busy, you know, getting her to go to school. And recently I've developed an allergic to, I don't know what it is, the cumin or the chili. So I haven't been making chicken for people and I felt kind of bad but I didn't go around and tell them well I have uh, I got actually prickly heat I know that that's an allergic reaction um, on my leg every time I eat curry and that's very sad for me I'm hopefully um, you know so my husband also is a curry maker we learned how to do that when my daughter was um, find out she was allergic to dairy so we can't go to Indian food so we decided to do that at home so that we can enjoy it. And my husband become a very, very good. He's a, he can make a tikka masala and all kinds of fun things. He will try to put less, um, he makes his own spice so he can put less chili. I don't really know. I don't want to go and identify uh, which one I'm actually allergic to. But the prickly heat, you know, as you know, is very itchy and so I'm holding back a little bit. You know I can't give it up altogether. And maximum curry seems to be okay if I don't eat it day after day. So that's what we've been doing. And I haven't been bringing it to the people, our neighbors. They must be wondering why Kathy stopped uh, serving them. If my one of my neighbors actually watched this, then they will know. I'm getting old, I guess. I'm developing an allergic reaction to things, but that's okay. I will just be happy and don't be too sad, right? I can still eat a lot of other things. I don't eat chocolate that much. I know that you guys probably hear that and think that my life is so sad. But I still eat curry, though. Don't worry. Um, but I don't eat chocolate that much. Sometimes I may have one chocolate chip and I'm happy. I don't get reaction when I just eat that small amount. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm darkening the base of the leaf so that I make the leaf look curvy. That's the best way I can, you know, I'm not very good at describing things, but so it curves in into the connection with the stamp. I think that's the best way <laughs> to, describe, uh, to uh, describe that. And then we had to do that. We had to do that as a artist okay and so I'm putting darker uh, more intense color over here so that uh, the stem will look like a tube and the stem does look like a tube right it is a tube and now I'm putting pulling the pulling the color out and hopefully maintain its intensity 
and I know that it wouldn't, and so I'm strict way I'm coming back with more. Uh, what this is I'm using is uh, indigo. Okay, indigo is my darken leaf color, my stand, my standby, so to speak. Okay, and that will make it look nice and round instead of a flat rectangle. Okay, doesn't that look nice and round to you? Okay, there's already some, but I can come in and intensify it a little bit and separate the stem from that leaves. But it doesn't need to be separate too much because, you know, in nature, I guess they kind of blend in and you can see that. Okay. Okay, it looks like um, I'm going to have to finish this side after I turn off the video. But I wanted to do some of the leaves here for you and then drop some color. But this will show you actually how I do that. Now, if you want to, okay, I, I'm going to do this a little bit different. You can put some veins, okay, as for veins on that leaves. I'm going to use the lost and found map, uh, yeah, uh -huh, method. Okay, so if the leaf is like, you know, I'm sorry. It's not very juicy, the pigment. Okay, I'm going to come in here. Still not very juicy. I don't have to put the leaf, you know, just suggestion. Okay, so you can see, right? And so let's not make it such a sharp line. You know, you come in and soften it. You can soften it. And as you soften it, you can pull the color out. If, if there's not enough, then you... So that gives you a suggestion that this leaf has veins on it. And you don't have to do it. Like, draw every single vein. And your eyes will kind of, sometimes, it will just... Um, fill in the rest really for you okay and the same here okay I just put a suggestion there that's just uh, the tip for you okay um, let's do this leaf over here as I told you earlier how I wanted to just pull the color out as what I did in the original painting uh, that you saw that bring you to my channel my blog okay because you know we don't need every single leaf to be so uptight right so I'm just coming in and doing what I really do in almost every single one of my painting and just uh, bring in pigment darker pigment over here water lots of water you know when I do things like that you can see that I hold my brush uh, further away from the tip of the brush because I wanted to be able to give my hand a lot of uh, movement because I'm not doing detail okay we need to have that sharp point okay and so now we're at the point where we can just really drop in the color and have a good time Don't have to make sure the leaf is the leaf shape. And so we will just drop in the color. And if at this point you say, ah, I need some more yellow on the color, you go get some yellow and drop it in. Okay? Don't worry about this back running. I, you know, I, I don't, but if you do, I know a lot of watercolor artists have problem with that. I actually like it because I think it's, uh, it's pretty. So I fixed that a little bit for you in case you are the kind that um, of people that uh, you know do not like the back running of the of the color. But I don't usually worry too much. Okay, and so I'm using a lot of water now. As you can see, I'm pulling in the color here and pulling them out. I know that sometimes, like uh, when you're closest to the leaf, it is good to just have it a little bit darker. You know, so you can see the difference, you know, but um, yeah, it's your choice, right? Okay, so um, I am kind of in a hurry to finish this because I don't like to do the painting more than one hour because it's hard to transfer the file. It's just really sad. <laughs> you know, it takes a long time and it's painful. And so I just uh, 
try to keep it for about an hour. Okay, I can see that I wanted to put another leaf shape over here. Can you see that little pencil drawing? Okay, and so I'm going to kind of go in and do kind of the shape over here, but not like, you know, but it's not going to stay this way, okay? It's going to come out. Okay, and I want the shape actually to go this way because those two are coming down, okay? I, I don't like to be so monotonous, and so I would do it that way. Like, it's going towards this direction. Am I succeeding in doing so? I hope so. <laughs> okay, and now over here, I'm just pulling out color, okay? Just pulling out color. And if I say I want more green, I will use some sap green, and you can go back to some of my, um, okay, there's another leaf over here that I need to leave space for, okay? And uh, you can go back to some of my other um, painting, and you can see how I, uh, what is the combination of some of my blog posts, and uh, what is the combination of what, uh, all the color that I like to use, okay? Okay, so I'm, and then I, I like color to be dropping down over here. And then I'll splash color, but you know, it's good to do some bigger drop over here by myself and without the dropping, I mean with the brush. <laughs> I do everything by myself, I guess. And then I'm going to splash color on this painting. And over here, over here, as of right now, I can go in, I'm going to go in with my medium yellow, okay? Because these color can actually you know, be next to each other and not make such a a fuss as the burnt umber. And I'm going to drop in my quinacridone burnt orange over here. Why do I do that? Just like what I talk about in my other painting, I'm suggesting that there might be some sunflower on the other end. Like, be, you know, so uh, to the eye, I'm just like uh, suggesting to the people that I am Okay, I'm just dropping water over here. Okay, uh, there are other sunflower around. That I'm not going in to paint every single detail. One time I asked my daughter, why do you think mommy is doing that? And she said, oh, you are trying to show that there are other sunflower. I thought that's very good. <laughs> that's very good, I'm very proud of her. Okay, now, if I'm suggesting sunflower, there is gray, there, are, there should be gray color, right? And so I would maybe over here, drop some gray color, okay? And then, maybe right next to it, I dropped the purple, you see that? And so you know that there's a heart somewhere, okay? And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, let's see, what's the time is, oh, one hour already, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna finish this and finish all the more detailed separation and then drop in the color and do um, some more green color over here for the background. And then you will see the finished work and then, um, and this whole tutorial will be up in my blog. Hey, thank you so much. I hope you have a very good day and stay happy and stay painting, okay? Thank you so much. Bye.